the last in the national can play or die and snowy morning from King John's Castle. Slim pickings can't go on, neither can Bewley's Berry. They set off up the running. Can play or die for Timmy Murphy and David Pipe. The grey King John's Castle has the leader in his sights, however. Back in third place, snowy morning as they race towards the elbow. Can play or die with snowy morning and King John's Castle pursuing him inside the final 200 yards. Can play or die is pulling out plenty on the run towards the line and just like his father David Pipe will train a national winner Timmy Murphy and can play or die won the national King John's Castle was second snowy morning third slim pickings in fourth as they race now down towards the final fence in the Grand National can play or die with Mom Mom on the inside my will the red sleeves towards the near side state of play these were the first four and it was can play or die and Timmy Murphy who jumped the lead over Mon Mon in second state of play in third my will is in fourth snowy morning is now in fifth place followed by big fella thanks as they race on now towards the elbow and it's now Mon Mon who has taken over the lead for Liam Treadwell on his first grand national ride he's gone clear now by six or seven lengths and going away from comply or die my will and state of play and racing now with just a hundred yards to go a first ride in the grand national is a winning ride for Liam Treadwell Venetia Williams trains Mon Mom to win the national Comply or Die was second, My Will was third, State of Play was fourth, Staying on Syrian was fifth, Big Fella Thanks was sixth, Butler's Cameron was seventh. Tony McCoy senses his national weight may be about to end as Don't Push It looms alongside and leads the last at the national. On the inside, Black Appalachee, Big Fellow Thanks in third. Hello Bud, character building running on, may grab a place with Snowy Morning, but off up the run in, it's Don't Push It for Tony McCoy. Black Appalachee fighting back grimly on the inside. Don't Push It in front, ears pricked idling. Black Appalachee trying to preserve the run up the inside, but Tony McCoy, the winning most national hunt rider of all time has waited a long time to land his first John Smith's Grand National. First all round, Tony McCoy, JP McManus, John Joe O'Neill, don't push it, won the national. Black Avalanche second, state of play, placed again in third. Big fella, thanks. Hello, bud, snowy morning, character building. Cloudy Lane, tricky tricks to Joe Lively. Comply or die, Serium. One left to jump in the national. It's Bala Briggs for Donald McCain and Jason Maguire. Chased by Oscar Time and Big Fella Thanks. Bala Briggs is over the last two lengths clear. Oscar Time and Big Fella Thanks chase him towards the elbow. Niche Market is back in fourth. Don't push it. Is fifth and one pace in front. Bala Briggs, but Oscar Time is ranging up to have a go at him. They head towards the elbow with still over a furlong to go in the national. Oscar Time and Sam Whaley Cohen get to the quarters of Bala Briggs and Jason Maguire. Bala Briggs finds a bit more his game and he's all heart Bala Briggs Oscar time got to him but he can't get past Bala Briggs driven out by Jason Maguire Donald McQueen follows in his father's footsteps and Donald McCain trains his first John Smith's Grand National winner Jason Maguire and Bala Briggs win the national for Trevor Hemmings Oscar time is second don't push it is third staying on in behind then stay to play fourth placed again niche mark and then Bala Briggs and Kappa Blur continues to come on the final fence of the Grand National and on the outside, Sunny Hill Boy. And on the inside of him, that is Sebas. He's the first two. Neptune Colange is battling on in third, followed in fourth by In Compliance. Shakalaka Boom Boom. And then Bala Briggs, who begins to rally around the outside. They go around the elbow. Sunny Hill Boy and Richie McLaren have got the lead over Sebas and Katie Walsh. Neptune Colange and Daryl Jacob. They've got another 150 yards to go. Sunny Hill Boy with Neptune Colange on the outside, bearing down. Racing towards the line, Sunny Hellboy and Neptune Galanch in a head bobbing, pulsating finish to the Grand National. Seabass was back. T for three who goes on down towards the last from Oscar Time and Aurora's Encore. T for three went through the top of it, joined by Aurora's Encore running a huge race on the outside, the 11-year-old. They race towards the elbow in the Grand National and it's Aurora's Encore for Sue Smith and Ryan Mania. T for three is chasing. Oscar Time is back in third, a furlong to go in the National. Aurora's Encore with a loose horse for company. His four lengths clear from T for three. Oscar Time is now beaten off. 
and it's Aurora's encore for a huge shock in the national. The 11-year-old is driven out. A first ride in the race for Ryan Mania. He'll win for Sue Smith, and Aurora's encore wins the John Smith's Grand National. Kappa Blur is second, T for three, third. Oscar Time is fourth, Rare Bob fifth. Then Swing Bill, Sol, Tarquinius, and R always waning. Major Malarkey joined together. C Bass and Katie Walsh next. Then across the bay, Balthazar King, Aquis Coverfontaine, and any currency.